Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to see a simple sheet, sheet metal example in SOLIDWORKS. Here we will create this part with the help of sheet metal tools. Here we will learn multiple number of tools like base flange, then edge flange here, then fillet, sheet metal gussets, then this embossing tool and uh, some many things we will do it here and uh, we will see how to convert this into 2D file and later we will save it for the dxf file see so let's see how to make this one now let's go to file click here new and choose here parts because we are going to study a sheet metal parts okay now here we are in the solidworks interface let me change some backgrounds and uh, i'll edit some tools if you don't have sheet metal tool here just right click and click uh, right click on command manager and choose sheet metal now here we will study uh, we will make a simple exercise in sheet metal so let's start to create first we will choose a plane there we will create our geometry sketch now let me choose center rectangle and let's draw a rectangle right click select means it will comes out the smart dimension let's say 130 millimeter and the vertical dimension 80 millimeter just go to sheet metal and click base flange now see here it's going to create now here uh, it's going downward that's fine for us uh, we don't uh, we don't want to use any gauge table we will use a, as a standard k factor and uh, we don't want to make reverse so 3 millimeter thickness is sufficient for us okay let me hide real view now it's time to see age flange once you click age flange it will ask you to choose age so i'll choose age but you, ha you have to define the direction so it's going move upward but we, we want to change this shape so how we will do just click edit flange click normal now let me choose here line and I'll connect line from here and up to here exit what we will do just delete inside lines that's it even you can define these lines let's say 40 millimeter 121 millimeter 100 millimeter even though we can define this also 120 millimeter see the drawing is fully defined so simply click finished sketch look if you want to do some editing edit sketch here let's say change radius 3 millimeter angle you can change but we want to keep 90 degree and here you can choose material inside so that bend will comes inside okay that's it now let me choose your fillet fillet even uh, we can choose it from directly from here 20 millimeter and I'll choose this edge okay even if you like to make mirror so simply just choose a plane center plane mirror about and here edge edge flange and fillet okay look even again if we like to choose edge flange let's click this edge take this side and here we will keep this one as it is radius corner radius 3 millimeter angle and let's say length width it's 30 millimeter virtual sharpness keep outer and material inside you will see here okay a 
let's apply on both side even you can mirror that's not a big deal 30 millimeter 3 millimeter radius okay isometric view that's it now let me add here sheet metal gusset in gusset you have to choose two face so one two now see it's all, all automatically select the line offset if we not choose offset it will point out one center so we have to define offset uh, what will be i found 55 millimeter or 60 millimeter seems in center position so that's fine and here we need to define this width length everything so here depth intent we will keep 13 according to our space see this is the depth then thickness it is internal thickness 3 millimeter angle now here inner corner fillet outer corner fillet 2 millimeter and uh, rounded gusset if you want to see it becomes flat so we will keep rounded okay now look how the gussets formed see internal ra ra radius and outer corner radius become 2 millimeter let me choose this face a sketch normal even he here we can define some lines or something circle S click select all the circles equal that's fine and define the dimension let's say 80 millimeter center dimension diameter and distance from center point to this 40 millimeter so that it will comes in center position and the end dimension of outer distance 12 millimeter see it's fully defined isometric view go to sheet metal and here you will find ex option extruded cut either you can choose any dimensions from here or simply select link to thickness so that it will cut only up to the thickness that's it now let me define some sketch fillet corner fillet 10 millimeter I'll choose these two edges okay now let's try to mirror I'll choose the plane front plane mirror and I'll drop down this menu I'll choose this fillet extruded cutout and uh, this cassette you will see here preview okay click here geometry pattern let me delete this gusset okay so gussets not going to mirror so we have to manually create the gussets here so just simply go to sheet metal gussets two surfaces it will automatically select these edges 13 offset we kept 60 millimeter that's fine and 2 millimeter 10 13 2 2 millimeter that's fine okay now look here the gussets formed here now let me try some raw material metal steel nickel brushed nickel that's fine now let me add some embossing tool here so I'll 
okay better to add select this face sketch even we can select some oblongs also here so let's try to make oblong a straight slot let's define this slots 12 mm this radius 5 mm let me define this gap 15 mm and the distance from outer edge 30 mm see this is fully defined sheet metal extruded cut isometric view click link to thickness okay now let's make multiple number of holes so we have one option here in feature linear pattern first let me choose this edge here the distance 30 millimeter and two number of patterns only we need now direction 2 so we will select vertical length see this distance let's say 70 millimeter and two number of patterns you will see here see x and y is both direction we are going to make okay now look how we created four holes here A look now let's see how to add some embossing tool here so i'll choose this face if you go to design library forming tools here multiple forming tools are here some are preloaded so i'll use some one of them emboss drop here position let me add some position okay that's fine we Forty-seven, and uh, ninety-five. Now this um, embossing going inside. Okay. Now look here. Here, computer is little bit slow now. See how the emboss created even you can create a hole also here circle fifteen millimeter sheet metal and extruded cut i'll prefer link to thickness so that it will cut only up to thickness not beyond the thickness that's it let's try some more i'll choose the same face and here we have some more lenses bridge lenses just press now you can see the direction going inside so just click flip direction position let's try some dimension okay that's in perfect position 44 11 that's fine okay click here okay and see we are going to make a bridge lenses here how it looks after embossing you will see even we can make multiple number of lenses pattern i'll choose one vertical length feature you can directly select this one and here distance 15 and pattern number of three patterns we can make here possible distance we kept 15 millimeters so that it will be going to maintain only one direction we need to make okay no need to make in other direction so that's fine so this is how we created simple lenses tool 
now let's let me try to mirror i'll choose this emboss this cutout mirror we mirrored again front plane oh look in the same way you can mirror front plane mirror and choose drop down the menu not mirror this linear pattern and bridge lenses okay that's going to mirror in opposite direction see let me try some corner fillet Ten millimeter. Okay. So this is simple exercise in sheet metal we did. If you want to flatten, just go to sheet metal flatten. Now this, see, this is ready for the sheet metal work. Simply you have to convert this into two D drawing. This embossing is going to done with the help of embossing tool in press machine or CNC press machine. This. lens is also going to make by press machine so uh, let me to make right click export to dxf file because dxf file you can use in autocad also C click here dxf file click here exercise sheet metal save now it will ask you click here sheet metal okay now it's going to save in 2d file that 2d file we can use it for programming or for cnc purpose it's calculating it may takes time but it will comes now look how this 2d drawing form you can simply click save and it will save on the destination So I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works Thanks for watching